इट्स गेटिंग लिटिल अनफेयर मे ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जाम के बच्चों के लिए बहुत सारे कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चंस मुझे दिखे कि जो हाँ एग्जाम में शायद पॉसिबल नहीं है करना तो डी का पेपर अब अगर एज कैटेगरी का था कितने सारे हम क्वेश्चंस करेंगे अब तो मैं भी सॉफ्ट हो गया हूँ मैं भी ये सोचूंगा कि हम बच्चे को कितना क्वेश्चन करवाए द जनरल रिव्यू ऑफ द सी ए फाइनल एग्जाम ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी थ्री इज दैट दिस अटेम्प्ट वॉज स्लाइटली हार्डर कंपेयर टू द प्रीवियस अटेम्प्ट so in this video i want to talk about the ca final exam may 23 from the point of view as a student to be very honest even i would agree with the general consensus that this attempt was indeed slightly harder than the previous attempts and i would like to share specific instances where i really felt like this attempt was slightly harder but the intent of this video is not to talk about how hard the paper was nor bash the institute in this video I really want to focus on the possible solutions and also give an overall conclusion based on the entire set of exams that I have appeared along with many students all across India. In group 1 there are four papers which is FR, SFM, Audit and Law. And this time the SFM paper was on the slightly trickier side where even during my exam I could sense an overall feeling of panic. slightly within myself and most definitely within everybody around me and there were even instances where at the end of the paper there were a few students in tears as they got out of the exam hall because of how hard the paper actually was so much so that the attendance actually dropped from the SFM paper to the next paper which is audit initially i thought that a lot of people got exemptions for audit and that's why they're not appearing for the exam but only later did i think that they found sfm pretty hard and that's the reason why they didn't show up for audit and the general trend is that there's only one paper in a group which is slightly on the higher side but in this attempt for may 23 the trend of the difficulty level kind of continued throughout all the papers so all the papers were set at the same difficulty level and that difficulty level was high so at the end of the exam what i also understood was that ca final as an exam is not just a test of knowledge but it's also a test of grit and will power to stay put irrespective of whether the paper goes good or bad so coming to the solutions and i just want to talk about myself and what i'm doing in specific so as of right now irrespective of how hard the paper was how easy the paper was as of right now the exams are done and there's nothing i can really do about it instead of praying which is the only thing i can do <laughs> but other than that there's nothing i can really do about it for me personally during the last 30 days before the exams because of how tight my schedule was i didn't find time to actually go to the gym and work out because my priorities were to study as much as i could which i feel like i did so as of right now since the exams have passed my main focus is to try and get back into really good shape which is one and then the second thing is also do a lot of things which i had deferred during my entire preparation time where you see your friends going out and you know everybody else is kind of having fun and you're stuck in your room studying so there were a lot of things that i wanted to do which i didn't do because of the exams and since the exams are already done and there's nothing much i can actually do about it right now the only thing i can do is stay optimistic and just do the things that i wanted to do so that's my focus as of right now and now i just want to give you a quick conclusion for all the students who will potentially appear for ca final exams at one point of time and also the students like myself who appeared for the ca final exam in may 2023 the fact is that the pass percentage is always more or less a fixed percentage right and if a question paper or a set of question papers are very hard it's not like they'll fail the entire set of students and the pass percentage can never be zero so in a way the only thing that you have to be focused on and even i have to be focused on is to try and do better than the competition and if you do better than the competition there is a very high chance that you will clear so first thing to keep in mind for myself is that the pass percentage can never be zero the second thing which i learned the hard way is to never evaluate your own paper 
that's ICI's job to do. So let them do it. So yeah, the conclusion is that the pass percentage can never be zero. Don't evaluate your own paper. Just wait for the results and see what happens and hope for the best. That's all you can do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.